I'm going to put the Mac Mini M4 to the test against a gaming PC, and by the end of this video, you'll know which one really packs the punch. Enjoying the ride? Hit like and subscribe to join our amazing community. Now, let's dive right into today's topic. When it comes to computing power, Macs and gaming PCs are usually seen as two separate entities, each catering to different needs and expectations. The Mac Mini M4, being a compact powerhouse, is designed for content creators and professionals who want a reliable and efficient system. On the other hand, gaming PCs are built for, well, gaming, and are typically associated with high-performance hardware. But what if you're a creative who also loves gaming, or a gamer who needs a reliable system for content creation? Can the Mac Mini M4 keep up with a gaming PC in terms of performance, or is it better suited for more specific tasks? Today, we're going to find out. In this comparison, we'll be pitting the Mac Mini M4 against a representative gaming PC, and we'll dive deep into their specs, performance, and real-world usage to give you a clear understanding of which system comes out on top. The Mac Mini M4 is powered by Apple's M4 chip, which boasts an impressive 10-core CPU and 16-core GPU. With up to 24 gigabytes of RAM and 2 terabytes of SSD storage, it's clear that Apple is targeting professionals who need a reliable system for demanding tasks. On the other hand, our gaming PC is equipped with an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 GPU, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and 1 terabyte of NVMe SSD storage. This beast of a machine is designed to handle even the most demanding games at 4K resolutions. When it comes to raw processing power, the Ryzen 9 5900X is a clear winner, with a boost clock speed of up to 4.7 GHz compared to the M4 chip's 3.2 GHz. But what about GPU power? The GeForce RTX 3080 is a behemoth of a graphics card, with 10 GB of GDDR6X memory and 5,888 CUDA cores. The Mac Mini M4's GPU, on the other hand, is integrated into the M4 chip and shares system memory. While it's still a powerful GPU, it's clear that it can't compete with the raw power of a dedicated graphics card. Both systems also have their strengths when it comes to storage. The Mac Mini M4's SSD storage is incredibly fast, with read and write speeds of up to 3,000 megabytes per second. Our gaming PC, on the other hand, uses a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD with read and write speeds of up to 5,000 megabytes per second. In terms of RAM, the gaming PC takes the lead with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, while the Mac Mini M4 maxes out at 24 gigabytes. But what does this mean in real-world usage? To find out, we ran some benchmark tests, including 3DMark, Geekbench, and Cinebench. We'll get to those results in a minute. But first, let's talk about some real-world usage scenarios. If you're a content creator who works with video editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro, the Mac Mini M4 is an excellent choice. It's optimized for these types of workloads, and it shows in the performance. But what about gaming? Can the Mac Mini M4 handle demanding games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Cyberpunk 2077? Let's just say that while it can run these games, the performance is far from stellar. On the other hand, our gaming PC is a beast when it comes to gaming. With its powerful GPU and CPU, it can handle even the most demanding games at 4K resolutions with ease. So, what do the benchmark results tell us? In 3 Mark, the gaming PC scored an impressive 13,000 points, while the Mac Mini M4 scored around 4,000 points. In Geekbench, the gaming PC's CPU scored around 2,500 points, while the Mac Mini M4's M4 chip scored around 1,200 points. In Cinebench, the gaming PC's CPU scored around 1,500 points, while the Mac Mini M4's M4 chip scored around 700 points. These results are pretty telling, but what do they mean in real-world usage? While the gaming PC is a clear winner in terms of raw processing power, 
The Mac Mini M4 is still an incredibly capable system for content creators and professionals. Its optimized software and hardware make it an excellent choice for these types of workloads. But if you're a gamer who wants a system that can handle demanding games at high resolutions, the gaming PC is the clear winner. However, it's also important to consider the cost. The gaming PC we built for this comparison costs around $2,500, while the Mac Mini M4 starts at around $800. So, what's the takeaway from this comparison? If you're a content creator who needs a reliable system for video editing, 3D modeling, or other demanding tasks, the Mac Mini M4 is an excellent choice. However, if you're a gamer who wants a system that can handle demanding games at high resolutions, a gaming PC is still the way to go. In conclusion, the Mac Mini M4 is an incredibly capable system that's well-suited for content creators and professionals. While it can't compete with the raw power of a gaming PC, it's still an excellent choice for those who need a reliable system for demanding tasks. If you like this video, be sure to like and comment below. Let us know which system you prefer and why. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech comparisons and reviews. But before we wrap things up, let's talk about one more crucial factor, portability and power efficiency. One of the biggest advantages of the Mac Mini M4 is its compact form factor. It's small, lightweight, and can fit seamlessly into any workspace. Plus, thanks to Apple's ARM-based architecture, it's incredibly power efficient, drawing significantly less power than a high-performance gaming PC. On the flip side, a gaming PC is a much bulkier setup. With a dedicated GPU, a large cooling system, and a power-hungry processor, it requires a robust power supply and plenty of desk space. That means higher electricity consumption and more heat generation, which can be a deal-breaker for some users. So, if you're someone who values a sleek, energy-efficient machine that gets the job done for professional work while handling casual gaming, the Mac Mini M4 is a great option. However, if raw performance is your top priority and you're willing to sacrifice power efficiency and portability for top-tier gaming and productivity power, a gaming PC is the way to go. At the end of the day, it all comes down to your personal needs. Are you a professional who needs a reliable workstation with some gaming on the side? Or are you a hardcore gamer looking for the best experience possible? That said, Apple has been making strides in gaming support especially with its Metal API and Game Porting Toolkit, which allows some Windows games to run on Mac. But for serious gamers, a Windows PC is still the clear choice. Let us know in the comments which setup you choose and why. And if you enjoyed this comparison, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on our latest tech breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.